Let me show you several examples to illustrate that Scrivener did not merely slavishly follow the King James Version, but rather attempted to reflect the family of printed editions of the TR as utilized by the King James Version translators. So here's one example. In Matthew 15, verse 27, it's the account of the Canaanite woman who comes to the Lord. And I was preaching on this. I'm preaching through Matthew right now, just recently. And I came across this, and in the King James Version of Matthew 5, 27, 15, 27, rather, it reads, And she said, Truth, Lord. And I actually said while I was preaching, I said, Guys, I, I would like for us to start making that a saying in our church. <laughs> Truth, Lord. I'll, I'll say it every once in a while, and they'll remember that passage. Truth, Lord. Well, if Scribner was slavishly following the King James Version, as we're led to believe, we might expect that if we were to look at Scribner, that we would find the noun, aletheia, truth, or we would find the adverb, truly, alethos, here in the Greek text. Perhaps we might think we might find the term used by Jesus himself. That's what Christian suggested to me when I talked with him about this. Amen. But if you look at Scribner's TR, it reads here, He de Ipen Nai Curie. And it's new alpha iota, the, the particle yes. That's the reading of Stephanus. That's the reading of Beza. That's the reading of the Nesolon 28th edition. You get my point? That's not a back translation into Greek. Uh, from the King James Version, else he would have used aletheia or alethos or amen. 